All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can populate our attributes table with different kinds of data. For example, I'm only going to add the population of these three countries here, but you can also do it for other stuff as well. You can uh, you can add it for uh, precipitation. You can add the data for a snowfall. You can add the data for recent death due to some kind of disease, per se, COVID-19 and so on you can add so much data to conduct your special analysis okay so at first i'm going to add the fields to the three particular shape files which are representing countries now do right click on that and after that we go to open attributes table this is the same as before then we're going to add a new field there you go now we're going to name the field population population and we're going to give it float there you go now as you can see a new field called population has been added there now let's do the same for india and pakistan open attributes table add field in the field population the float click on ok there you go it's done now let's do it for pakistan open attributes table add field right population and then give it a float there we go it's done now we need to know the actual population of these three countries to do that let's go to an os site there we go uh, here at uh, how aquastat now you just need to do a search like that how aquastat population and then i just click on this first link here that brought me here all right, now we're going to bring out the population. So I selected the population and we just need the total population. Now the division is here. Then I just need to select the country here. So I need Bangladesh. There you go. We have Bangladesh here. Now we need India and then we need Pakistan. Okay. This may this video may get a little big if I waste a lot of time looking for names. So here we go, Pakistan. Now I've checked three countries. Now the year is going to be just for the year 2020. Let's see what results we get. Now we have value in years. Where is values? No, thank you. Thank you. Now just click on submit. This may take a while if my network connection is. So no, no records may be queried. Let's check your population queries and try again. So let's try it from uh, 2015 here and to check on the latest values only so that I can get the latest value now do another submit and let's hope that we're going to get some data here there we go now we have for Bangladesh the total population is 1000 we have for what okay this, this is the value for 2017 and just index the value i i have never done a population session per se so i'm sorry i should have done five now this is going to be the total population for india I think, all right let's take a look at the symbols here first now we're going to ix x means external value reported by faculty or another international agency all right so that is the population. Now I'm pretty sure these are the population here. So for Bangladesh, we have the, we have 159685 of 2017. So we're going to input that here. Now to input that, what we're going to do is do right click on this, go to the Open Attributes table. Now if you go here, you'll see that you cannot uh, write in anything or put in anything here. Okay. So how you can uh, put it in? You go. You need to go to the editor and click on Start Editing to uh, edit your attributes table. Now, a thing is, when you are new to ArcGIS and install it for the first time, you will not have the editor tab here. So let me just first remove it. There you go. My editor is now gone. So how to bring the editor here? To do that, you will just go up here and do a right click anywhere on, on a blank space and then from here you'll look for editor and check it on and it will pop up right here okay now let's going back to the attributes table 
uh, population now click on the drop down of the editor and click on start editing now choose your file that you want to edit i want to edit bgd adm0 click on ok uh, continue now you'll be able to edit it now you can write down the population here there we go and you can write down the population let's bring the population from here i'm hoping i can copy it let's see control c and then here control v yeah i was able to copy that now there is a gap here let me see if i can there we go the gap is now gone once you have done editing now what you're going to do is go back to the editor tab there again and then first you're going to click on the save edit there you go our edits have been saved now and go back to the edit tab once again and click on stop editing now the editing has been stopped and our population has been added to Bangladesh here let's I do an identify click on the Bangladesh and when you go down you will see that uh, after area you can also see the population here okay so I'm just going to do the same for India and Pakistan again but if you think you have uh, completed learning this step you can uh, skip this video from here because I'm just going to do the same thing for the other two countries but if you see if you think you need to see it once or twice again then please stay okay now let's do it for India so right click there go to open attributes table then here we have our population click on the editor click on start editing Choose the India ADM0, click on OK, continue. There you go. We're going to go to our website again. We're going to copy the population, control C. There you go. Now, uh, there you go. The control V. Now, the space. Let's see, where is the space in between? There's another space here. There we go. The population has been added. Go to editor save edit and then stop editing done now we're going to do it for Pakistan so open attributes table click on the drop down go add field oh sorry we already have a field population ah there we go go to editor drop down click on start editing choose the AK administration 0 meaning Pakistan administration 0 click on ok there we go click on continue and then go to the website copy the data control c come back to our cis do a double click there and do a control v for pasting erase the spaces extra spaces go back to editor again click on save edit and click on stop editing it is done so these three files now contain population data as well as area for these three countries so that was it for this video i hope you got to learn something new thank you so very much for watching if you have found the video to be useful please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one thank you